welcome to the Cosmic Egg Stories. Here's some creation stories from Kemet, ancient Egypt. The Creation Story of Hermopolis The Ogdoad was a system of eight deities, four gods and their consorts, the number four was considered to represent completeness. Each pair represented the male and female aspects of the four creative powers or sources. Nun and Nornet represented the primeval waters. He and Hoit represented eternity. Kaik and Quirkut represented darkness, and Amun and Amunit represented air, or that which is hidden. However, the gods differ from one source to another. Primeval darkness was sometimes represented by Guri and Jerit and Hei and Hiatus sometimes included as forces of chaos, possibly representing the currents of the primeval waters. When Amun rose in prominence as a creator god in his own right, he and Amunit were replaced by Nir and Nyat, gods of the void. The gods were all depicted with frogs' heads, while the goddesses had the heads of serpents. Only Amun went on to be considered as more than a primeval force. While none was still referred to often, it was only as the representation of the waters of chaos. These eight elements interacted causing an explosion and the burst of energy which was released caused the primeval mound, located at Hermopolis, but originally known as the Isle of Flame to rise from the water. It was thought the gods and goddesses of the Ogdoa then ruled the earth during the Golden Age. When they died they took up residence in the Duat, or Tuat the Underworld. They ensured that the Nile continued to flow, that the inundation would come every year and cause the sun to rise each day. The Creation Story of Heliopolis In the beginning, there was nothing but a dark, watery abyss of chaos, the primordial ocean of none. But just as the waters of this great Nile gave birth to life through the earth, out of the none came the Ben Ben. Ben Ben, the earthy mound shaped like a primitive pyramid, emerged and became the place out of which the sun rose for the first time to light the world. Tum is the source of everything in this world, and thus he is the creator of all life. Before rising atop the Ben Ben, Atum was just floating aimlessly within none, holding both male and female aspects within himself. At some point, he willed himself to rise and then to create life. Atum created life by using the female part in him, his hand, to spawn the god of air and emptiness Shu, and his sister Tefna the goddess of moisture and mist and then he declared, I had union with my hand, and I embraced my shadow in a love embrace. I poured seed into my own mouth and I sent forth from myself issue in the form of the gods Shu and Tefnut. Some say Shu, and Tefnut were created by sneezing, and spitting. Once his first two children were created, and the one became three, Chaos left the world and light entered it. After this first creative act, Atum wept. As his tears fell, they turned into men and women. At the same time, Shu and Tefnut mated and birthed two children of their own. The earth god Jeb and the sky goddess Nut. Jeb and Nut were born in such a tight embrace that they had to be separated by their father. As Jeb lay down to form the earth, she the god of air held not the sky goddess and extended her over the earth. And so now the world as we know was formed, with air and moisture and sky and earth. And the men and women of the world. Jeb and Nut then had their own children, Osiris, Set, Isis and Nephthys. Osiris then became the king of the earth and took Isis as his beloved queen. They ruled the earth for many years. The Creation Story of Memphis the Memphis creation story centered around her, the divine blacksmith, his craftsman ability allowed him to envision and shape raw materials to create. Tar created the world in a similar way. Tar created by word and mind of God. The ideas developed within Tar's heart, regarded by the Egyptians as the seat of human thought, were given form when he named them with his tongue. By speaking these names, Tar produced the gods and all other things. The Creation Story of the Bees Words spoken by Amun Re, King of the Gods, August Being, Chief of all the Gods, the Great God, Lord of the Sky, Earth, the Other World, Water, and Mountains, the August Soul of the Kemetef Serpent, Father of the Semen, Mother of the Egg, who engendered everything living, the Hidden Soul who made the Gods, who formed the land with his semen, 
father of the fathers of the Ogdoad in the tomb chamber in the necropolis in the place Chim, who created this place in Nun, overflowing seed the first time. The first snake made heaven because of his desire. Earth came into existence, the sky spat forth an egg, like the egg of a falcon. It was as the face. Earth. That is how the second snake came into being with the face of a beetle likewise, while the cow before this predecessor went forth. Amun in that name of his called Ta created the egg that came forth from Nun. As Ta of the Hay gods and the Nenu goddesses who created heaven and earth. He ejaculated and made at this place in the lake, which was created in Tjinan, it flowed out under him, like that which happens, in its name of grain of seed. He fertilized the egg and the eight came into existence from it in the district around the Ogdoad. He languished there in Nun, in the great flood. He knew them. His neck received them. He traveled to Thebes in his form of Khonsu. He cleared his throat from the water in the flood. Thus came into existence his name of Khonsu the Great in Thebes, the august being in the seed. He turned his face to this seed. It was his Maat, that great one who raised herself as a power from the ground, a necklace on his breast fashioned to the likeness thereof, brought from the highland in Nun. Thus came into existence. Thebes in her name of valley. Thus came into existence Hatha the Great, in the midst of the grain of seed in that name of hers of Nunat. Then he put his body upon her, and he opened her as Ta, the father of the gods. Thus came into existence the Ogdoad. Consisting of its four males, and a wife for each one. It is this that Thebes made, together with the four drops that were in her. They are the men and ladies of Tain. The land of Thebes rejoiced at Tain, inasmuch as Tain had created the Ogdoad in Thebes. They were waterborne to the island of flames, and thus came into existence his form, the first primeval one of the Great Flood. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned in for more.